Well, we're getting ready to go to the land of Nada. I got to put my battery in. I've been having some problems with these headphones I got from Beach Nut. Somewhere along in here, the wires got a bad place in it. But if I move it around and tuck, tuck it in, it works okay. I'm going to have to order me some Grey Ghost waterproof phones, I guess. Me and Big Rick from Charlotte are looking at some. Uh, this is a, a gear related video before we go to the land of Nala. You know, I've had bad luck with my flip flops blowing them, blowing them out here lately. But yesterday, I blowed out half of this one. And these are these are two years old. They're reefs. I like reefs. Or I did like reefs. Let me put it that way. I mean, I like to wear them. But that hole right there on some models will fill up full of sand and you'll get a big bump right there. And I have to take a knife and cut that bump, cut that open and wash it out with a hose and it goes away. I've had it happen on several, several models. So these are not going to work out any longer, I guess. I got a buddy of mine, Colonel Dan. He's been wearing Crocs. I noticed Fireworks wears Crocs, and a lot of people wear Crocs. So yesterday I strolled down to the Dicks and bought me a pair of Crocs. I made some modifications in them. I made the slits a little longer on the sides. They come with all these holes already in them. I just made them a little bigger. They come in black and gray and blue and, you know, multi multicolors. I'm going to give them a spin today and see how they work. I wore them yesterday for about three hours. Me and Jack went on the bay and we took a swim. We played ball. We walked out in the water for a long time. They seem okay. They're really comfortable. I wore Croc flip-flops for, I don't know, seven, eight, ten years at the beach. They were the greatest I ever found. But then I couldn't find the models anymore they used to make. I had to branch out to these reefs. Anyway, we'll let you know how these do today. The perfect beach shoe. I've been looking for it for 20 years. I still haven't found it. These were close. Well, not these, but the reefs. I mean the uh, damn Crocs. These are okay, but they just don't last. You get the wrong kinds, they'll put blisters on your feet. Sores right there. These to get these get cotton is get soft, wet. They get soft. It's nice. They don't bother you too much. I don't know what this strap's going to do to my heel, but I'll let you know later today how that's going to turn out. Now, carbon fiber. This this carbon fiber has been out for a while since Chuck introduced it a year or so ago. Denny's been using his now for. A year and a half to two years, no problems. Uh, this is one that Chuck sent me, uh, I'm not sure, seven, eight months ago, maybe a year, I don't know. This is for the Stava. This is an inch and a quarter model. Well, I use it frequently. I use it all this week. And I just want to comment about it. I, uh, it's a positive comment. I've, I've never encountered anything like this carbon fiber before. Some people say it's hard to grip. Slippery. But for me, it doesn't bother me at all. I can grip it good. But what what's nice about it, it's super light, of course. But what is nice about it, it don't flex. It don't give. It don't, it don't do anything. And I know it's got a solid plastic core in here somewhere. I don't know how far it goes up. I don't know that. But I know all this part right through here is a big solid plastic white cord inside of it. I drilled the hole all the way through it and put a quarter inch bolt in it. And I'm just here to tell you that like I said I've never experienced anything like this carbon fiber before. I don't know what I'd do if it if it if anything ever happened to it. I'd have to buy one of course I mean but it's a very nice taquito. And I, I was kind of skeptical. But not any longer. It's nice, nicest addition I've got to my scoops. Thank you, Chuck. It's a nice taquito. 
Okay, that's it on the gear. I'll let you know more about these bad boys later. Then the jury is getting ready to go out. The ring man, I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mumbles man. Text me and said, I'm ready, he said. But who didn't know that? Stand by.